Hello everyone and welcome to the Lathrom channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews, and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from Lathrom here. Welcome back, glad to see you guys around. Now I've I'm going to cover a little bit of a techie question. This is a, something that uh, has been asked multiple times. Uh, I've heard it multiple times, and it always comes down to, you know, how much RAM should I have? How much RAM do I need? Am I do I need to upgrade my RAM? You know, blah 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 blah. Well, to be quite honest with you, if you're looking at your you know task manager and you see something like this. Chances are you don't need to upgrade it. You don't have to really worry about it. Now, I'm not saying that it looks like this all the time. Generally, whenever you're running your main um, everyday usable programs, uh, like say if you're a gamer, if it looks like this or if it looks like this, then you shouldn't have anything to worry about. You're pretty much good to go for now. Uh, if you're more of a super user, you're getting into 3D animations, you know, rendering, or you're doing some very hardcore like 2.7k 4k even maybe 8k well then that's a different story you need maybe a little bit more because your task manager may look something like this now yes this is the case you need to really start looking into possibly getting into some more ram however if you are one of those people that multitask on a regular basis and you have a bad habit of doing what I do in your you know web browser kind of looks like this well you may find yourself uh, well you may be helping yourself out a little bit if you close some of those damn tabs yeah I know I do the same thing but you know if you're closing out a lot of your tabs and you find yourself to where you're always having to try and trade off in order to get something that looks more like what we're working with right here where it's only using about four gigs out of 32 you know i mean 32 for this machine right now uh it, it's pretty i don't want to say it's pretty much overkill but it kind of is um even I mean, 16 was not enough 24 would actually have been sufficient uh but 32 was just the logical step for me figured i would go a little overkill and not have to worry about it for you know a longer period of time but I guess you know the moral of the story is is you know more RAM is not always a good thing I mean back in the day it used to mean that it would make it a little bit you know your computer a little bit quicker but you know nowadays if you have a bunch of RAM that's basically sitting there not being utilized such as this granted yes you don't have to upgrade uh, however if you're looking at something like you know this scenario right here where it's you're constantly taxing out your ram it's you're you're in the 70 80 90 percent of your ram utilized or even 100 percent of the ram utilized you're going to have to look into an upgrade you know depending on which way you want to run with it i mean you can go different ways it's all up to you it's a personal preference if you want to try and go the cheapest route possible you can always get an extra like you know four gig stick or an eight gig stick see if that helps you not saying that it will it might you never know you might even be able to get away with just a two gig stick it all comes down to what you're doing but that's about all i have if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop them in the comment box below and until next time i will see you guys later